Welcome to York Minster at this holy time of year. It's a holy time of year, but it's also a complicated time through which we find ourselves living. It gets dark very early at the moment as we head towards the shortest day of the year in mid-December. It feels dark when we look at things like the war in Ukraine. It feels dark when we look at the recession, the rate of inflation, the level of industrial unrest in this country. It looks dark when we consider that there will be around 16,000 children in this county living in poverty this Christmas tide. But let me deflect you just for a moment. Let me take you north from York to the Orkney Islands. There's a prehistoric burial mound there called Mays Howe, a place where they think kings must have been buried centuries ago. And if you go there in December, if you are there on December the 21st, when darkness is pervasive, you will discover that if there is no cloud cover, the sunlight streams into this burial mound on the darkest day of the year. Those prehistoric architects knew just what they were building, and they had a great sense of Christian theology many hundreds of years before the birth of Christ, because they knew that at this time of year we remember that light breaks into the darkness, and according to St John, the darkness did not and has never overcome it. I can't say that if you come to York Minster to share in the various Christmas services we will be holding, it won't make all your troubles go away, but it might bring in the light that reminds you that God took all the risks of vulnerability to become human, was born in complicated circumstances in a stable, lived a life of some hardship, and was crucified to bring light into the darkness and to remind us and to show us that darkness does not get the last word. Light does. Love does. That's Christmas for you.